guys welcome back today we're going to do something that is one of my most requested and that's the quilt pattern so let's make a quilt the quilt behind me on the wall is absolutely beautiful it is summer in the park i've got a couple of more rows to add so i'm going to add them with you it's really really simple great beginner quilt you can do it with a jelly roll and some background fabric and you got it so let's get started so in the construction of this quilt, you're going to make tubes. So you need to make two different <clears throat> strip sets. So you need three of your print colors. And I'm just going to use this solid blue for mine because that's what my customer chose. And my background in this one is going to be this camouflage. So you need three of each. So if you're doing a jelly roll, so this will be three of your jelly rolls. And this would be three of your background strips. <clears throat> okay, so what you want to do, the first strip set you're going to need, let's sit on the side a second, you're going to need two of your background strips, and you're going to put them like this, and you're going to get one of your jelly rolls, and you're going to do that. You're going to sew this strip set straight down the sides on both sides, and you want to press your seams towards your background fabric. For the next strip set, what you're going to need is <clears throat> two <laughs> ruby, two ruby. Let me introduce you to Ruby. She's my new puppy. Say hey, Ruby. Look up here, Ruby. Hey, there's Ruby. This is my new puppy. Her name is Ruby, and she is my Sour Patch Kid. <laughs> okay, so for your next strip set, what you're going to need is um, a jelly roll strip, a background strip, and another jelly roll strip. So you're going to make both of these strip sets, <clears throat> and then we'll turn them into a tube. So you need to make this one like this. And then the other one on this side. So you have two strip sets. Background, print, background, and print, background, print. I'm doing mine a little bit different, so it might be a little confusing. The blue in my quilt is going to be <clears throat> your print fabrics. The, the camouflage is going to be your background fabric. She just wanted two colors in hers and I think it's going to turn out really pretty. It's going to make a very pretty tubes, uh, tube for the Summer in the Park quilt. Look at my sweet Ruby. Her so sweet. Oh yes. Her such a sweet girl. And then she's sour. My new supervisor. Huh? You my new supervisor? Alright, get down, baby. Alright, so now we're going to do our strips set. Sew them together. And I hope she don't knock or budge the camera. I'm sorry she does. Alright, so there's some odd squares I've done got. I've got to sew together. So what I'm going to do <clears throat> is take two different of my colors, a background and a print, lay them straight on top of each other. I'm not stretching either one of them. Excuse me, I'm not sick. That's just my allergies. I'm not stretching either one of them. I'm just making sure they're laying flat. I only work in about this much area, so I'm, I mean, you could pin if you want or clip if you want. It's just as easy for me to sew it this way. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to sew to my thumb, stop, I'm going to readjust, making sure everything's lying, laying like it should, and sew a quarter of an inch down to my thumb, and then readjust, it's just how I get away with not pinning, or clipping, or 
any of that. So I'm just going to lay the strips straight. I'm not stretching or pulling either one of them. I'm just laying them flat. Very important that your seam is very accurate on this. You want to do a quarter of an inch and you want it to be straight. And you'll find out why in a minute when we go to cut these tubes. Because we're going to cut them, uh, line up our ruler on your stitch line. So it needs to be pretty straight. There we go. I'm just going to keep on doing this until I get um, both of the strip sets that we need. Ruby, Ruby, stop. So I'm going to open this up and I'm going to press it toward the background so that for me it's towards the camouflage maybe can I have this thank you I'm just pushing it open pulling it open with my hands and running my fingernail down it and that kind of presses it so I don't have to get up between and run to the iron I'm gonna do another camouflage on this other side Can you go get one of your toys? Leave my fabric alone. Thank you. Ruby. <laughs> Stop. Gotta love puppies. So now I'm going to take and press this side toward, so I'm going to flip the seam over towards the camouflage, or in my case, the background fabric. Okay, so now you want to go to your iron and you want to press these nice and flat, making sure that all your seams are straight. And then we'll pin them together on top of each other so everything's laying flat. And I'll meet you right back here. So that's what you want to do. You want to lay it flat on top of each other like this. Line it up both sides. And chuck a couple of quilt clips in there. And then sew down both sides. But we'll get there. Let's go press it first. Alright, so I have my strip set pressed open and I steamed it nice and flat and what I've done is put some clips on it so that it's laying flat it's not bowed it's not skewed in any way the edges are lined up on both sides 
and um, it's nice and flat. So we're going to sew that just down both sides. Oops, that clip come off. I'm going to sew that down both sides with a quarter of an inch seam allowance. Alright guys, so now we have our our strip tube right here. It's laying flat on our mat. It doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be lined up on any of the grid marks or anything like that. We're not going by anything on our mat. We're going to take your 12 by 12 square pruller. Actually, I think mine's 12 and a half by 12 and a half. Doesn't have to be this big. You just have to have a ruler that has this diagonal line on it the one going across it. You have to have this diagonal line and I believe that's a 45. So the first thing we're going to do, because I'm right handed, I'm going to start from this side of my piece of fabric. If I was left handed I would start from this side of my tube. So I'm going to start from this side because I'm right handed. I'm going to make sure I'm going to come in slightly above the selvages so that I'll get them in um, your, your square or anything and I'm going to make the first cut here. This can be discarded. It's not good for anything. So what I did was I lined up that 45 line that I just showed you straight down my seam. So that's why your seams need to be good and straight. So then I'm going to pick it up and I'm going to slide it up to the top seam and I'm going to line this line up on that stitch line and I'm going to line it up here at the end right here making sure that it's lined here and that line is on my stitch line and I'm going to cut and when we open it up that's the square that we get so I'm going to put it over here we're going to press it in just a minute you need to get six of these out of this strip set so you want to be very frugal with your cuts and you want to move it down here line it up on this strip this line stitch line line it up here and on your seam make the second one so that's two i'll set it over there to be pressed and i'm going to pick it up and i'm going to come up and line it up on the top seam and i'm going to line it up right here don't forget to line it up here it's very important Got a puppy laying between my feet, so let's see if you can see her. Oh no, she's she's right here, <laughs> right, right here, laying there sleeping, right up under my feet. So that's three. Okay. So this was our cut here. So now we're going to move it down here line it in that line on our stitch line and line it up right here at the end and make a cut that's four and then we're going to go up line it up on the seam on the line that you sewed line it up right here and cut we got there four there's five and then we need to run it up here and here okay so this is all you have left so you have to be very conservative with your cutting and your scraps because 
I mean, and you're lining up and everything because this is all you have left and you really need almost every single one of these. So you need six of these. So then, bring the iron over. What you want to do is you want to press it again towards your background fabric. I have my iron set on high steam. And I'm even going to give it a, a splash more of steam so that they lay really good and flat. I'm going to take this one and turn it up. There we go. So there's your square. And we need to do that with all six of them out of that strip set. And then we can start putting our squares together. That's the fun part. Seeing everything come together. What's your favorite part of quilt making? I think that's my favorite. I think picking the colors that I'm going to use and planning the pattern design is my favorite. I think my least favorite would have to be the binding. Actually, I don't mind putting the binding on. I mind making the binding. It just seems like you don't ever get to the end of that strip, that very long strip you sew. This don't seem like you ever get to the end of it. All right, so I'm gonna put you where you can see the wall and um, we'll put this together. Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm matching color to color and print to print. What I mean by that is matching the color to the color and the background to the background. And they kind of make these diamonds. See all the colors together, all the, the backgrounds together. I have to scoot all these up because I got to put the bottom row on the bottom. The wall's not big enough. So what I have here is just one of them vinyl tablecloths. It's just a vinyl tablecloth and I have it um, thumb tacked to my wall. Actually it's two of them so that it's my back wall of my she shed that I have that I work out of. So color to color, background to background. if you can see what I'm doing. Let me back you up a little bit. There you go. So I have them down here on the like on the wall down here so I'm just picking them up. This piece I already had made that I showed you goes on the top of my quilt so these pieces go on the bottom. I'm just moving them up so I don't have to break my back and bend down. So this is five rows and I need five more rows so I'm just going to bring these up and make five more rows. Background to background, print to print. And this is the summer in the park. See what I'm talking about? It looks like you worked hard on it. I've done nothing but so strip sets together, straight lines together. And the way I cut them is what made these. Looks like you worked hard on it, but you really didn't. All you said was straight lines. Okay. And then I got one more row over here I was working on. And I almost put together. This one's not going to quite line up because the seam allowances is already taken in this part. So I, that's what I do. I sew mine together in twos 
and just pairs pretty, to, I mean, um, color to color, background to background. And then I, um, so see, I just sew them in, in like together in twos. Twos and the fours, fours and the sixes, and eventually you'll have a big quilt. One, two, three, four. So this is four rows. <clears throat> this is five rows. You need seven across, ten down for a queen size. So I need to make another row with the pieces that we just cut. What I'm going to do is I'm going to line up color to color, background to background. And one more. So what I what I was saying earlier about you need every single one of your squares I have one left over. Out of all them that I cut, out of twelve strip sets, six out of each strip set I have one left over. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these and I'm going to pick them up. One, one, you know, just pick them up in the same, in the row, sew the rows together. I'm gonna do that, and I'll be right back. Yeah, <laughs> I got to sneeze. Hang on. Mm. It went away. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lay them here, in my whole pile. I'm gonna take the top one off, and the next one to it, and I'm gonna make sure that these two are matching, color to color background to background all the way along and when I sew them I'm going to match up them seams in the different colors you really want to try your best to match up all of your seams as you go along your um, little square here and I'm just making sure they're nested when you do this a lot of people um, have a little come um, a little bit of trouble with this so when you're nesting, you don't want to nest at the edge. Well, you do want to nest at the edge, but what matters is at your quarter of an inch where you're going to sew, especially on these diagonal lines, you want to make sure you're going in at least a quarter of an inch inside, making sure everything's straight and nested, and then sew it. Because if it's nested at the edge, it don't, you know it's not going to do you no good because you need it nested at that quarter of an inch where you sew it at. Always keep that in mind. If it helps you, put some pins in it. So I'm going to sew that in twos. I'm going to leave it there and I'm going to take my next two. I'm making sure they're lined up properly. Flip this one over on top of it and do the same thing. And your boss says it's break time, it's break time. Is it break time? 
Cool. Alright guys, so what I have here is my five rows on one side, five rows on the other. I'm going to start the middle together, down the side, matching up each one of the seams as I go down. Quarter of an inch. Alright guys, here we are. Got my borders on. I did a two and a half inch of the blue glitter and I did a five inch of the camouflage. And I'm going to put my binding together and put my binding on it and we'll be through. And I'll get my husband to hold it up and take some pictures of it and post it. So let's get the binding on it. Probably put you in fast forward through this a little bit because you've done seen it a couple times or some other videos on my channel about binding.
all done. I'm going to hold it up, get my husband to hold it up and take some pictures of it, and I'll post them. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you learned something. See you in the next one. <laughs>